Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd, kicking it out here with my friends in Meridian, Idaho, taking a look at the new 23 updates on the Paradigm 310 RL. I always like to try to get updated copies of floor plans like this because everybody and their brother builds a floor plan like this, so it makes for the perfect comparison point. Like if you're wondering, should I look at an Alliance, a North Point, a Pinnacle, a, a, a Solitude, or a whatever big high-end fifth wheel, Look at this floor plan, watch these videos, and compare these side by side. So what does Alliance bring to the mix? Well, first of all, they have actually usurped Keystone in having the best, in my opinion, factory standard solar package, now coming in at 320 watts of solar with a 40 amp charge controller and inverter prep, which is very cool. And that pairs up perfectly with their new 20 cubic foot 12 volt DC compressor fridge. And uh, they're the first that I've seen, maybe they're not the first to use it, I don't know, but they're the first I've seen use an extra, extra large 12 volt fridge in these big luxury fifth wheels. It has replaced their residential refrigerator option. Uh, I like it, I like it because I, the more things that are going 12 volt, the more things that we can get going solar, the more flexibility and fun and function we can introduce into RVing. But all the other big hitter features have returned like the carpetless floor flush slides down on the main deck, including the kitchen. It's a, a floor flush kitchen slide, which is great. It's wide body. Uh, they use Asdell in the sidewalls, uh, give you a little bit more peace of mind there. They have excellent running gear in these. They have amazing holding tank capacities on these uh, paradigms. And this is a really cool thing. Every single Alliance, when it is built at their facility, they actually test tow it with 100% full holding tanks around their little test yard. And then they drain the water and then they ship it out to the dealerships. Nobody else I've ever heard of does that. It's a very cool thing. And it's just one more thing they're doing with that uh, do what's right, customer in mind kind of process that they have where if you need something, they are Johnny on the spot and they're there to take care of you. They've also done a couple cool things like the entertainment center's been updated in a way that I'm very happy to see and I'd love to hear what you think. Tell me what you like and dislike about her as we go. Any questions you have, leave me a comment. And if you appreciate how we show you the good with the bad, hit subscribe and let's kick it. So again, approaching this video today and this unit and this floor plane specifically from the angle of everybody and their brother makes it, so why would you choose Alliance? Why are they worth your money potentially instead of brand X, Y, or Z? Because they all have excellent qualities. So what does this one bring to the table? One of my first and favorite things is how the slide floor matches the main floor. It is all carpetless and uh, very pet friendly. They're very good about not putting floor vents in the lower decks uh, of Alliance RVs. Now, this thing over here, um, just all the windows, their big atrium window package overlooking the dining space. This is all overlooking the door side of the RV. And that's an extra tall, I'm shooting from the hip, about six and a half foot walk-in slide right there. So uh, there's so much light pouring in, the camera doesn't know what to do with it. When we get back here into the body of the RV, it'll kind of change its tune a little. But if you're taller, like me, you can literally just stand up in that slide and not knock your noggin, which is really nice. You got the power theater seating right there on Boardwalk and Park Place, straight across from the Entertainment Center. And you're going to get to see this demonstrated in, uh, a little bit. Last year, I looked at this and I was like, why doesn't the TV pivot? Like it was just flush mounted. Uh, it wasn't as friendly for viewing from the rear sofa and the TV now pivots. And that wasn't me doing it. I'm not the one that made that change. You folks at home watching these videos and sharing your input and your feedback, you're the reason that uh, they, they made that little miniature evolution right there. Alliance is one of the most uh, responsive brands I've seen. And basically <laughs> there's no real secret with them. Their whole you know plan, is give people what they want. Crazy, right? I know, it's just absolutely bonkers and insane. Um, all the uh, fascias, all hardwood, hardwood cabinet doors. And why don't I see brands doing a lot of raised panel work like this anymore? That's just, to me, that just looks good. It just looks classy. I like seeing that. Um, the uh, cabinetry, of course, all pocket screwed. And they have gone through a uh, interior and exterior facelift as compared to last year. What do you think about the new look of this? Now, there's not different... Uh, like decor options like Jacob will give you like a brown one and then a farmhouse one and Alliance kind of seems to have sort of bled the difference here it almost reminds me a little bit of what Cougar's done with like a, a brown tone farmhouse instead of a gray tone farmhouse but looking at this kitchen things that I like about it the symmetry of it so when you're standing here dead in front of the uh, the microwave or the stove Left and right, it's the same. Power outlets, it's the same. You got that big insignia uh, stove top right there. And did you notice, once again, you are not uh, dealing with a toe stubber step-up slide right there. 
Big solid surface countertops all the way through. Um, that island, by the way, is prepped for a washer dryer. No, not a washer dryer. A dishwasher. I, I guess a washer dryer for dishes. <laughs> and this. Mm, I love this. 20 cubic foot 12 volt DC compressor fridge. That is the biggest 12 volt fridge I have seen in a towable RV. You know, they're just they're just doing some things that personally I really like. But these are things that I enjoy. I'd be curious to know what you think about them. In the meantime, I want to crack everything open here and give you a look in a little more detail. Right now, we're looking at a cuddle compliant couples couch. But Al Kazam, we've got ourselves a drop down theater console in the middle there. There's two fold away guest chairs for the table and chairs. Um, you could also just, you know, put one chair on either side, basically. A really cool thing with Alliance RVs is all the stuff that they do, uh, prep work or preventative. Like, the um, all the wiring in this is color-coded. And they're not the only ones to do that, but they're still one of the very few. And it's funny to me that a newer manufacturer took the time and effort to get everything color-coded in their wiring. It just makes, it, they build better, it's easier to service, it just, every part about it works better, you know? Now, the uh, TVs that they're using, they're all 4K smart TVs, and it seems like that's becoming the new standard for a lot of brands, and I'm glad to see it. It felt like it's one of those things, like, RV manufacturers are like, it's a 4K TV, and then they were giving us, like, RCA wiring, which is low definition. Um, you know, it's just kind of dumb. I'm glad to see manufacturers all kind of getting up to stuff. And I remembered to showcase the fireplace storage for you, ladies and gentlemen. That's something that I've had a bad habit of forgetting uh, in the past. Other neat little details... The uh, indirect accent lighting above the crown molding all the way through and uh, the living room lighting and the bedroom lighting are both on dimmer switches, which is kind of neat in case you want to dim it down for like movie night or early mornings or late nights. Now, I want to talk about the air conditioning system. I can't talk about an alliance and not talk about this because if you look at this, you're like, wait a minute, are those non-ducted airs? And yes, they are. So the living room and kitchen is the biggest area in the RV. So you have two air conditioners dedicated to doing nothing but keeping this room cool. The bedroom and the bathroom are two far, far smaller areas in terms of cubic foot of space that you need to cool. So the good news, uh, they share a third air conditioner. Every single paradigm is triple air standard, a 40,500 BTU air system. That is, I mean, <laughs> no pun intended pretty cool <laughs> totally you know what I, i'm lying that was totally pun intended fantastic just super fluffy friendly toilet space up here in this bathroom and that's a soft closed toilet lid so when a clumsy oaf like me drops it in the middle of the night it doesn't go <laughs> now notice you have that 300 pound rated uh teak seat that you can fold up and down there but getting up off of that thing reveals one of my favorite parts of the alliance bathrooms awesome headroom in these upper decks. They are very, very good for that. Trick is, I'm at kind of a funky angle to try to show you the rest of the bathroom in an effective fashion. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to teleport over to the other side. Boop. So, yeah, this is the view from that teak seat in the shower. Thanks for taking a shower with me today. Um, probably not what you wanted to hear when you tuned into an RV video, and also not what I was expecting to say. Big space for a wastebasket. And this is an epoxy uh, poured countertop here in the bathroom, which is cool because it's basically the countertop itself is waterproof, and it allows them to undermount a nicely sized stainless sink. Lipid storage, storage galorge medicine cabinet. And just in case you're wondering where you keep your towels or your, uh, you know, body washes and stuff like that. What I like is they didn't make that full depth. They did shell that up a little bit so you don't have to look like you're getting, uh, giving an elephant an enema to get yourself in there. Now, uh, by the way, just in case you're curious, they are using the Fajita Friday Fume Fighter fan instead of the Dollar Store 4-inch fart fan. So that is good news. That's the same rain sensor fan they're using up in the kitchen. Remember, that bathroom and this bedroom do share that centralized air conditioner. That's the only centralized air you're going to find in this. So that every, basically, the air stays in the ducting as short of a time as possible. And while it's still enjoying maximum cooling benefit, gets down into your living area as quickly as possible. Looking at the king bed today, there is a queen option. What is nice is even the king bed gives us these little phone stands on the uh, the side of the bed right there. If you, uh, you know, you need something a little more significant than that, you'll probably have to come up with your own little bedside stand arrangement or something of that nature. Now, um, looking up front here, they utilize 
every inch of that front closet. But as long as I'm standing right here, let's take a look below the bed. Big time full storage down there. That's where those two guest chairs are very, uh, you know, it's great to put them in there basically. But their front closet, it's side by side. You can either do a combo or you could do a stackable washer dryer, whichever one tickles your fancy basically. And um, I might've been born plain white trash, but fancy was my name. <laughs> I did not, I did not expect to be busting out my old uh, country roots references today, but folks, there we are. And there is yet another 4K HD TV downward dog angled so it ain't cranking your neck around. And as we kick it in the road mode, I don't know why I felt the need to bust in the Beastie Boys kick it right there. I thought I'd demonstrate the dimmer switch lighting because you have that again, both in the bedroom and the living room area. Now with the bedroom and the bathroom uh, over here on the hallway side by the door, accessing these for transit, absolutely not a question whatsoever. The real question becomes what happens downstairs. And I know I sound like a broken record if you watch my videos all the time, but that's the facts, Jack. Getting around here, it's a little tight, but it's not too bad. I can still slip through this pretty easily. You see, when you pop through here, the refrigerator is fully accessible in transit, which rocks, Batman. The only thing I want to point out, because I will share even fine little details, good or bad, it looks like the freezer is going to be available, but if you look at it, the freezer will overlap with the countertop a little bit, so the freezer is pretty much going to be non-accessible in transit. Good, bad, or ugly, I'm going to do my best to showcase things for you. And if you like that, hit that subscribe button and I will jump outside after reapplying some sunscreen. All right, so let's talk towing. Um, one of the cool things about a floor plane like this is it comes in right around 35, 36 feet. And there's something magical about that length where the tire wipes on the fifth wheel will almost identically match the tire wipes on your vehicle. So like, you know, it, when the vehicle's making a turn, you, you have a very good approximation of where the fifth wheel is going to be back there. Now there's still a little bit of tail whipping, of course, but uh, you know, you just, it, 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 it's, it's more obvious, it's, it's less concerning. You don't have to like take such a dramatic swing around. Um, it's a 101 inch wide body and they're using what they call their benchmark chassis. Um, and one of the things that I like about that, if you look at the positioning of the stabilizers, the, the six point hydraulic auto leveling, it's all, it exists outside of the frame rails. So it's providing maximum stability for this big beauty when she gets to her destination. Now in the sidewalls, just below the fiberglass, they are using Asdel, which is a composite material. The interior wall layering is still Luon, however. Uh, so like where the wallpaper on the inside is attached. And the fact that they added that second awning onto that door side slide with all those windows over there, that is awesome but something every single RV will suffer from. Whenever you have a door dead next to a slide and an awning arm like that, if it's rainy, you're getting spritzed in the face. It's annoying and there's no way around it. It just, it just is what it is. But that's, I mean, it's just a symptom of the floor plan. And if that's an issue for you, maybe look at a different floor plan that has things like the awnings in a, uh, a, a little bit different position overall. Might be something that you like. I like the outside speaker location. I like that it's not up too high. Uh, Paradigm and Alliance, they seem to be very good about that. That's about as high as I, I would like something, but uh, they're not so high that it's uh, a serious problematic issue. What do I want to look at? Sorry, I'm trying to decide on the fly what I want to look at, and I think I want to look at these David Blaine magic steps. But word to the wise, make sure you have that entry door all the way open when you're putting stable steps up and down. That's true of any RV, basically. Um, while we're over here, let's talk about the performance running gear. If, uh, especially a model like this, this is the smallest paradigm they make. Um, this is the most likely to tow and go. You've got super G rated tires, which are 4,400 pound rated tires. Um, uh, 7K Dexter axles. You have uh, Moride CRE 3000 suspension, wet bolt fasteners, so they can actually be you know lubricated and maintained for high mileage use and long-term ownership. They're doing the thing. If you're trying to make this your last RV, they're doing the work to allow that to happen. But what I want to focus on, you see that little pull tab over there? This whole wall can just go away. And I mean that quite literally. And what they're doing here is they're giving you easier access to get to everything in case you do have some kind of service need or diagnosis or want to check some things out. Of course, fully uh, enclosed privatized docking center. And a little pro tip for you. Since your, your pole valves, uh, your, your, your gates basically, they're up here or they're in the belly. They're not exactly directly next to the one singular combined sewer outlet, which yes, bonus points for that. 
but the, uh, I would get a little Valterra um, extra blade valve to put on the end of that. Um, just in case, let's just say something on your sewer hose pops loose or something when you're uh, emptying your tanks. It's nice to have that extra little like, oops, stop the dribblage, you know, before it becomes an issue. Uh, you can get these plain Jane vanilla up front. We're looking at generator prep today. You can also get it with a 5,500 Onan generator if you are so inclined. Now, uh, again, today what we're looking at is the, the standard version of their solar package with the 320-watt uh, uh, panel up top. I'll get you a look at the roof in just a minute. But you can also get this with their Solar Plus package, which is 960 watts of solar, a 3,000-watt inverter, a 60-amp charge controller, and a triple lithium batteries straight from the factory which is cool. Now, uh, if you appreciate how I was able to get some awesome broadside footage of this one today, uh, say, leave a little note, leave a little comment, say, thank you, Mr. Juan. Uh, he is the lot manager here at our Meridian, Idaho location. And I said, hey, you know, this thing was really parked and wedged in. I said, is there any way you could just make me a little room? He cleared out this entire show space for us today so that we could get an awesome look at this RV. He is... Uh, He's just an awesome guy. He's just a good quality individual to talk to also. It's just, I'm glad he's on our team, you know. We've got, um, Jacob calls it their towing package, but 3,000 pound towing hitch, four-way wiring harness, safety chain hooks in case you want to do some doubles towing. And as you saw, we've got that ladder, 250 pound rated to get us up there to the roof. So why don't we take a look at that real quick while we're at it. Now, um... The uh, roof, obviously, fully walkable. You see the triple air conditioner that's up there. And again, you see that 320-watt um, standard factory solar package that's on these. I don't know of anyone else standardizing quite that much solar straight from the factory. Until this time, um, Keystone had been leading the way with 200-watt solar uh, across the board. And that's pretty awesome. I like seeing how these manufacturers are pushing the envelope, especially in conjunction with that big 12 volt DC compressor fridge that we saw on the inside. Um, I think uh, I think Alliance overall as a newer manufacturer is actually becoming one of the brands that is willing to push the envelope and stay on the bleeding edge of the razor. And frankly, their customer service for their uh, the people who already own one, not just wanna buy one, is in my opinion, about the very best that's available out there in the industry. And that's a big deal. So again, let me know what you think about the updates and I will leave you some links in the video description where you'll be able to check pricing and availability on these at all of our different Bishes locations that carry Alliance as well as um, I will leave you some links to some similar things. Like again, if you're comparing to a North Point, a Montana, a Pinnacle, a Solitude, you wanna see which of these big high-end full-time and RV and kind of fifth wheels is the one for you before you go spending all of the money. Take a look at those, compare them side by side, and let me know on any of the videos which one you like or if you have any questions, and I'll do my best to fill in the blanks, and you can always contact our team anytime. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.